How's it going? Four days a week, 10 hours a day. Uh, I have roughly 10 to 13 stops depending on the day. Philip Jackson's delivering drinks to restaurants and convenience stores. I've been with Columbia for six months. Wednesday at a West Olympia, Texaco at six in the morning, Jackson saw a five-year-old boy walking by himself. The kid just walks around the front of the truck kind of fast paced and I notice he has no shoes or shirts on or shirt on. He watched the boy go inside the Texaco. Next thing I know he grabbed a bag of M&Ms and ran out the door. So I instantly just called 911 not because he stole it but yeah. because he's a little kid that you know there's no adult around in sight. We're following him just to make sure he's okay. Jackson kept an eye on him while staying on the line. Hey buddy come over here. At the same time from the apartment complex next door the boy's mother called 911. He's a nonverbal and autistic. He's only five years old. She said her son had snuck out of their apartment's back door. But luckily, after about three minutes, mother and son were reunited in the complex's parking lot. I got him, 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 I got him. I, got him. I, got him. I just hope someone would do it for my kid if I was in the same situation. Jackson says he only did what he was recently trained to do. You're looking for control. You're looking for signs of fear. Starting this year, all 3,000 of Columbia Distributing's employees have to go through training on how to spot victims of sex trafficking or children in trouble, something truck drivers are more likely to see, says the company's director of learning and development. I'm very proud of, of the fact that you can see the results, right, of like a training that we did, you know, now something like this happens, you're like, oh, that's perfect. They did exactly what they needed to do. Something was wrong. Something was wrong, definitely. Philip Jackson says the boy's mother was grateful. At the time of the 911 call, you can tell Jackson was eager to help. All right, tell him not to worry about the m and I got it. Philip Jackson did try to pay for the M&Ms that the boy allegedly took from the Texaco, but the Texaco owner was not going to let that happen. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.